When you write a paper, you often use sources like books, websites, or journal or news articles to answer your research question or support your thesis. This video will show you how to appropriately incorporate that information into your paper without plagiarizing. Let's say you're searching for sources on the topic of school day start times. You look in the library's databases and you find this article. You want to include in your paper the information in this quote that you find on page 205. The Pulaski County Special School District demonstrates that communities can successfully adapt to substantial changes if given appropriate time and if parents are provided with adequate information during implementation. You can include this information in several ways. The first way is by quoting the information. Sometimes a source's author phrases something perfectly and you want to use their exact words in your paper. A quote is enclosed in quotation marks to show that the words are not your own. And a quote is always cited within the body of your paper and on your works cited or reference page. This sentence includes a quote from a journal article. Note the quotation marks around the quoted text and the in-text citation at the end of the sentence, which gives credit to the text's original author. You'll also see that this sentence is not made up entirely of a quote just dropped randomly into the paper. The first part of the sentence is written in your own words. This part of the sentence is called a signal phrase. When you introduce a quote with a signal phrase, you seamlessly integrate another source's information with your own. Another way to use the article's information in your paper is by summarizing. A summary is a short breakdown of information you find in your source material, like an article or book. When you summarize a source, you express another writer's ideas in your own words, condensing the author's key points and using fewer words than the author. Think short and simple. When you summarize, you still want to cite your source in the text and add the reference to your works cited or reference page. Another option for using the article's information in your paper is called paraphrasing. A paraphrase is a restatement of a sentence or phrase you find in a source. When you paraphrase, you express an author's ideas in your own words using approximately the same number of words and details as in the source. But be careful. This doesn't mean finding synonyms of the author's words and just changing them out. That's plagiarism. Also, remember that a paraphrase should be cited in the text and on your work cited or reference page. This sentence is considered plagiarism. Notice that this sentence maintains the same structure and even some of the same words as the original text. Though some words may look different, they are just synonyms of the original words set in the same places within the sentence. If you have questions about quoting, summarizing, paraphrasing, or avoiding plagiarism, contact the Writing and Speaking Studio for assistance. If you have questions about locating sources for your paper, talk to a librarian.